Good afternoon, family. How is everybody today? Oh, no makeup today. No cute outfit today. Just a thankful video. I do, I am aware that I do have a couple of y'all that follow me on Facebook, so those couple already know. But um, yesterday, I was in a really bad accident, a uh, car accident. Um, I am just so absolutely grateful to God right now. I can't even explain it verbally, the gratitude that I feel right now. Uh, I was leaving the nail supply store. And um, I was in the Durango. That's the car. I always drive the boys around in. Majority of the time. I was in the Durango. And I'm going down Josie Lane, which is a really busy street. I'm going down there. The speed limit, I think, is 40 on Josie. But I think I may have been doing maybe 44, a little bit, maybe 45. I'm about a half a mile from the light. I see the light. The light had just turned green. So I knew I had the right of way to go ahead and go through the light. It just turned green. So I'm going. Out of nowhere, right as I approach the light, a white van decide to run the red light that he is sitting in. Sorry. He decides to run the red light and turn left in front of me, in my path. I'm thinking I can prevent this accident, which is clearly about to happen, and it's going to be very bad with me going the speed that I was going. I hit my brakes and swerved around him. At that point, I lost control of the car and started going to the oncoming traffic. They're sitting there because that's a red light this fool just ran. They're sitting there. So I look at this lady that's in the lane next to the turning lane, and I'm going straight into her car. We look at each other. I swerve again back to the right, and at that point, my car jumped the medium, and I wasn't on my brakes at that time because... The first thing that pops in my mind when I can't don't have control of the car, you don't slam on the brakes. That's just what my daddy has taught me, my brother's ex-boyfriend. When you you kind of let try to allow the car to straighten itself up, you know, by slamming on the brakes, that will make it flip over or whatever. I don't know what they said, but they said don't slam on the brakes when you have lost control. And I think that may just be for like on ice or rain or something like that. You can't allow the car to straighten itself up. In most cases, it will. So I had jumped the medium and ran dead into a light pole, which from the looks of the car, it just, my car was just basically finna get split by the pole. But it, the motor or something hit and I impacted with the pole and the airbags came out. I just, it just happened, that part happened like really fast and it just kind of dazed me. So I went, oh. I remember doing that. Kind of went over to the side a little bit and I just shook out of it. And I'm like trying to open my door and I can't get out. And the lady was like, are you okay? And I'm like, help me out. Help me get out. Help me. Help me. Help me. I couldn't get the door open. And I heard a man say, we need to get her out of the car. The car is on fire. It's on fire. We need to get her out. Get out of that car, baby. So I, I ain't no tell. I don't know who he was because he was just a trip with his self. <laughs> get out of that car, baby. So I... I bust the door open and I, you know, I pry it because it was jammed at that point. I pried it and I slid out of it. And then he walked over to help me. And but I stepped down on my left leg and it just seemed like the 
the knee just went zoop. Like it was gonna come out of my skin. It just, I was like, oh, my leg. So I hops over and he's yelling at me. He's like, sit down, sit down, sit down right here. Sit down, sit down. So I'm like, what do you want me to sit? I can't, my leg, I can't move my leg. Where do you want me to sit? I can't squat. Sit down right here. Lean right here, lean right here. So I put my hands on the car, on the front of the car. I didn't know what he was trying to get me to. No, put your, put your butt on the car. <laughs> I'm going to help you if you let me. I'm like, oh my God. So I turned around and leaned against the lady's car who I was about to hit. And she was trembling just as much as I was. She was shaking just as much as I was. It was, it was just chaos from that point. But the the fire department, now the one, they came. It seemed like they were like watching the accident. They were there so fast. Fire department came and then the ambulance came and they got me and put me in the back of the ambulance. And by my leg hurt immediately, the first thing they do is cut my pants. Just got these pants from Neiman. And I, um, just took the tag off of them yesterday. Just took the tag off. So, I think I'm going to throw those in the garbage. <laughs> but I am so grateful. I'm not hurting right now because I've taken some medicine. Um, I'm not really hurting that bad right now. I've gotten up. I feel good. I feel I feel refreshed. I take my shower. I feel pretty good. But I'm just like here to tell y'all that prayer. When you walk out your door, cover yourself. I do it, and CJ has watched me do it so much till he does it. Do you hear me? CJ prays for us. Even if if he see us having a bad day, he's like, I'm sick of something. Pray. My mom not having a good day. I'm going to pray. He see his mama pray. So I, you know, he prays. And um, you have to stay covered. Because I mean, like, in the, in the mix of this accident, in my mind, I could feel grace and mercy. Like a, a cocoon or something covering me. For my airbag to let out and for me to be going as fast as I was going to run into a pole, an iron pole, and I have a scratch, a bruise, a black eye, a broke nose, I don't have a scratch on me except for a swollen knee that the bone is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not fractured. I don't know what's wrong with it that I can't walk on it, I have to go to an orthopedic doctor but I'm going to go to the orthopedic and I'm going to find out why I can't walk on it but it's not broken. They took x-rays and they showed me it's not broken. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I am covered. I am I'm covered. I'm so blessed. I know this video is long but I just want to use every avenue or every media that I can use to tell y'all that God is good. God is good, baby. God is good. That could have been it so easily. And I'm not saying that he's good to me and not good to others and he allows stuff to happen to us. When he get ready to call me home, I'm going because this is not my home. Earth is not my home. This is not my home. My home is with him, my creator. Those are my beliefs. And I have a right to believe what I believe. And I'm not trying to shove my God down your throat if you follow me and you don't believe in him. But at this moment, I feel a very strong urge to share with wherever I can share it. And talk about him wherever I can talk about him. And represent him wherever I can represent him. If it was not from the grace of God, I would be cold in the mall. I wouldn't be here. My children would be suffering right now. And hurting. And saying and wanting to know where their mama is. 
I went to school with a girl. Went to nail school last year with a young lady. This baby, I don't know where she was coming from, what happened, but she went head on with the car and got an impact with the car. And she did not make it. The car caught on fire and it burned her up. She did not make it. I just almost went head on impact with a car. The car caught on fire, but by the grace of God, by the grace of God, do you hear me? I'm blessed. Y'all can share this video. If you know what I'm talking about, share it. People need to hear. Even in the midst of what you're going through, he will cover you. He might not stop everything from happening, but he will cover you. He will cover you. And he just wasn't ready for me. Because that could have easily been the wrong blow or my head could have been turned the wrong way and he... The airbag hit me and did some brain dead stuff or anything. You know, I'm just saying, God is good. That's just what I want to say right now. God is good. And he will keep you in the middle of the storm, baby. And y'all just share this video and I'll be back to nails and makeup and whatever else. I'm still working things out, but I just had to come on here and share this with y'all and let y'all know, just, you know, love your loved ones, live like you mean it, live every day like you mean it, if you're gonna be here, you might as well live, if you're gonna be alive, you might as well live, laugh out loud, laugh hard. Love hard. Trust in the Father and trust in His plan. Yeah. Yes, he's so good. Whew. Thank y'all for your time. Thank you for looking at this video. And I will see y'all on the next one.